and welcome to today's interview. We've been waiting for this for such a long time and I'm so excited to do this with the wonderful Steelwall, uh, the creators of the upcoming game Security Breach, which is coming out next week. Next week. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> two and a half years since it was introduced on Scott's website. Um, really, really excited. Um, I just want to give you guys like a massive round of applause. Don't worry, I'll put in some audio in the atmosphere to give you guys a round of applause for um, what's going to be something mind blowing. Like from seeing the trailers and everything for the past two years, it looks insane. Uh, you guys saw our reaction to it. So <laughs> yeah, we're all really excited for this. And yeah, so if you guys want to introduce yourselves and then we'll get straight into it. Uh, my name is Jason Topolsky. I'm one of the uh, co-founders, co-owners of Steel Wool, uh, project director, creative director for the studio. And? And I'm Ray McCaffrey. I'm an executive producer for all things Five Nights here at Steel Wool. Woo! Awesome. Yeah. So like I said, the release is coming up very soon. Are you guys excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very excited. I think, it's, I think it's all of the feelings. I think it's uh, I think it's the excitement and the the oh, everyone's gonna play it soon. Yeah, I think it's the combination of all those things. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited it, to get it in everyone's hands. Yeah, because the, the game's been in works for such a long time as well. Um, I think this is like the longest we've been waiting uh, for a FNAF game. Um, so yeah, I think it's actually the longest one. Um, I don't yeah, know how, for sure. I, I don't know how long Help Wanted was in the works, um, but was, I'm guessing Security Breach was took longer to make. So with that, did you guys face any challenges while making the game? I mean, uh, everybody always runs into challenges with every project. Yeah. yeah. You know, because which ones are you going to get? Mm -hmm. I, was just, I was just telling JTOP here, like, this is my 12th game. And I, I and I don't think that there's a single game that's shipped that didn't have challenges, and this one certainly had its uh, had had its challenges. Um, you know, thinking on it, you know, I've only been at the studio now for about six months, and when I joined, um, <clears throat> it took two full days <laughs> for the team to take me through the entire pizza place. Two oh full days. Oh my god! And. Um, I was astounded because this is an indie game studio. We are a small team. This is, a, this is just a few dozen people. And, <laughs> yeah, we uh, only had like 12 people when we started. Yeah. And and what's been built is, you know, it is easily the largest, most ambitious Five Nights game that's ever been built. Um, shoestring budget, tiny team built this incredible, incredible game. Um, and you know, trying to build something as grand as, as what we're doing with the team, is, uh, the team size that we have is, um, that is a challenge. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a fun one. You know, it's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's been a lot of fun bringing this whole thing uh, to fruition, so. With the challenges, do you guys have any, like, any, like the biggest challenge that you guys had, if you remember any or anything like that, anything like soup that stands out? Or is I it mean, just a lot? <laughs> no, to me, to me, one of the biggest ones was when we started, when we started like, geez, two and a half years ago. This is like back during um, Dreadbear. Yeah. Right. Is that um, one, one of our other directors, Evan and I, we sat down with index cards and we did an over, over, overhead view of the whole building, right? Mm. This is what the space is, right? This is what we want. These are all different areas. And then we handed that off to our sets guys, and then they took what was a what was a two-story building and they made a three-story building. <laughs> and then we were like, we're gonna keep it. Let's yeah. just add more stuff. And we, you know, that was one of those moments where it really exploded into a much bigger space. That was yeah. it's, it's technically more than three stories now. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I think the uh, I think I think the biggest challenge has been, um, you know, where where do you where do you draw the line on the fun? So it's, uh, it's the job and the producer to be like, we need this because it makes the game so special. But do we really need this because we have other things? To <laughs> yeah. Do? yeah. And so. Um, and you're like, but it would be super cool. But it would be, exactly. <laughs> right. We'll be in a meeting and I'll hear something and I'll go. 
oh, do we have time for that thing? And then by the time <laughs> it was over, I'm like, I'm going to go away and find time. I'm going to go find a way to make this happen because this is too cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, well, yeah. what if one of the arcades was also a dance club? Hey. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> We've got Dance Dance Revolution in the arcade. Um, There's like a fakey version of one that's around. Okay. <laughs> it's like a fakey one. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I, felt, I think I was going to add on to that. Yeah, I was going to mention the game. Um, I think people found, found that the game was going to be like over 70 gigabytes, which pretty much confirms how big the game is going to be. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the size on disc, there's sort of, there's two parts to it. Um, so oh, the first damn. is, yeah, it is huge. The piece of place is absolutely massive. Um, and then the second thing is like, you know, the transparently, we have some optimizations that we've got to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're gonna we're gonna try and bring that down. I don't, know, don't think that's gonna happen for launch, but as time goes on, we're gonna try and bring that down. Um, work on adjusted like, compression settings, things like that to make people's uh, lives a little bit easier. But uh, when a game is as big as this one, you really, yeah. <laughs> you, really uh, you have to do that sort of thing very carefully. Yeah. Did any of the older FNAF games like uh, inspire Security Breach at all? anything like that every single one every single one. Oh, absolutely i mean like scott's scott's universe is so rich yeah. there's so much stuff that you want to that you just want to play with and, you, and you, it's really hard to even hit everything you want to yeah you know it's like uh, <laughs> all the characters all the locations you know the man just just like the uh, the time periods you mm -hmm. know it's like there's so much that you want to hit and that you want to honor and you want to use that you can't get all of it. Yeah. So, yeah you added there's... Music Man back though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that took everybody by surprise, by the way. Apart from Matt yeah. Pat, I think Matt, but... uh, Matt Pat did a video on it and he said it looks like Music Man. So he got it right. <laughs> uh... Oh, everybody around the studio is is yelling his little catchphrase now, which is kind of funny. You know, the, the, where he's like, Music Man. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was cracking us up. But you know, it's it's technically not Music Man. Okay. Right. Music Man will not be making appearance. DJ Music Man, however. <laughs> <laughs> He's had an upgrade, basically. Yes. <laughs> He's had an upgrade. Speaking about Music Man then and characters, um, do you have a favorite character animatronic in Security Breach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, it's funny. Do you want to do this one right first? Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, joining the team, um, I, I just feel like I got super close to Freddy. And yeah. so I'm just sort of like, I'm a huge Freddy fan. Like, um, there's that. The, the other problem with the animatronics and like picking a favorite and what makes it so hard is that they evolve yeah. as the night goes on. And there's some that are uncomfortably <laughs> and those ones ended up being my favorite so um yeah i was like for the whole series definitely uh helpy is my favorite period like yeah. i will try to work helpy into everything helpy is like my favorite bot period i used to have it on a keychain like scott sent us some merch really early on when we were working with them and uh, I had this little healthy keychain, and I just drove it to the ground. <laughs> you know, it's like it was just his head and part of its face mixed up, you know, meshed off, and uh... exactly what he should have been. Uh, but in Security Breach, uh, Sun Sun Moon, the our daycare attendant, yeah, uh, is my favorite by far. Yeah, like, I think that's I'm a lot of no people's favorites as well, um, yeah. especially the voice of um, Moondrop. Um, I mean, oh, is, yeah. it, is it is it is it moon drop it's the daycare I, attendant okay okay you know we'll just yeah. say that then no yeah. reveals what i was gonna yeah, say that's kellen that's yeah kellen kellen, kellen yeah kellen announced yeah. it so that was Those really were cool really fun sessions yeah yeah, yeah. It was it was, I think it was after a Freddy session we were talking about who we needed for the for for sun and moon and uh after one of the Freddy sessions j top comes to me and goes let's have kellen let's get yeah. kellen yeah. Sun and moon. Kellen. And it was like, yeah, oh, yeah, choice. and then the first time I heard it, I was just like, oh, great. Now yeah. this thing is going to be even more terrifying than it was <laughs> yesterday. So you, see, you said your favorite character was uh, Helpy, right? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm going to ask? Have you guys, have you have you heard about Buff Helpy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so those are hilarious. <laughs> is, is Buff Helpy going to be in Security Breach? <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny. 
<laughs> oh god, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, so you'll see some helpy. You will. You'll see, see some helpy. helpy. That's good because help is one of my favourites as well. Yeah, that might be happy. Okay, so we talked about characters. Um, will there be more characters that we have not seen yet? Yes. Yeah, you have not seen everything. Amazing. Yeah, sure. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, it looks like there's going to be, uh, from the trailer and everything, everybody thought that there's a big 80s vibe within the mall. Um, mm -hmm. Was there a reason behind it being like very 80s themed at all? Or just a choice? You know, it's funny. It's, uh, it's just a little bit. I mean, for the most part, it's kind of because of my age. Mm -hmm. um, I was one of those kids that in the 80s when you know the original Chuck E. Cheese is opened yeah this is up in Tacoma Washington my soccer team like you know grade school soccer team every single you know every single party we had was at Chuck E. Cheese it was this cool two-story one I was telling Scott oh, about it damn. you know oh it was really neat it was a big one um, and I always had all that stuck in my head, you know, forever. Yeah. And really wanted to hit that feel. And when you grow up in the 80s, you can never forget the 80s. Yeah, I didn't grow up in the 80s, unfortunately. No, but I really like the, the, the aesthetic of the mall and everything. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. And I think it just suits FNAF anyway. Um, yeah. That, the, the big neon vibes and everything. So here's an interesting question. Does the game... Uh, okay, so from the trailer and everything, it seems to hint that the game takes place in just one night. Can you confirm that or talk about that a bit more or deny it or not answer it? <laughs> There's two ways to go, right? You can make it a five nights in the mm -hmm. one location, right? And this this was something that we worked on early on story-wise. You know, we were talking with Scott about and what you take the player out and then you come back and then like, you know, maybe instead of five nights, it's, it's more of like one night and each hour is kind of like a major beat. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. there's your, there's your, like your big five nights. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where we, that's where we went with it, which I think works out really, really fantastic. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think I think a lot of people thought that anyway because like in the yeah. description and stuff you say like you have to survive the night. Um yeah. so I think it was pretty obvious anyway but just wanted to ask anyway. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And so, to be clear there's more than 5 hours. Just yes, like, yes, it, yes. Oh, okay. Not. What is your favorite location in the mall? If you have one, or is it just everything? The whole mall. <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine is uh, um mine is actually parts and service. Um, it's oh. attached to a very specific warehouse. Um, that is, uh, I cannot wait for people to play in those <laughs> areas of the game. They're easily my favorite. Yeah, that that hour is fantastic. A lot of people agree with us with yeah. what Ray's saying. There's a certain warehouse down there that a lot of people oh. are really nuts about. I'm, I'm, I'm getting so excited, honestly. My what? favorite is Putt Putt. You know, okay. Uh, Gator Golf. Yeah. Man. If I could go play indoor putt putt at Gator Golf, I would be very happy. <laughs> I think that was a question that was on here. We, we might as well go on to it um, yeah. with like the golf and the bowling and stuff. Um, are you able to do those things? Some things, yes. There are some things that have mini games attached. Awesome. You know, you can't like walk into golf and play golf with what's sitting there. You know, you're gonna get killed. You're yeah. gonna get caught by bots. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but there are stand-up arcades that uh, give you some game elements at times. Oh, so, awesome! Yeah, you know, and for for golf specifically for golf, like one of the ideas there was, like, well, do you want to do you want to play a putt putt golf game there in that room, or would you rather play like a heightened fantasy version of what a putt putt golf <laughs> course would be you know where you are down at the height of the ball and you know we're, you're seeing sets from older games and we can do whatever we want oh know? that's awesome in the game will we as gregory be able to make choices or decisions that change things later on the answer is yes 
Mm-hmm. Like yeah. in the sense that there are choices that you will make and paths that you can take. And then there are, depending on what choices you want to make and how well you play the game, Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. you'll have multiple op- you, you know, have options in the end. You'll have options in the end. Yeah. Yeah, like I guess for example, one of those one of those choices could be there's an hour where, hey, there are two things that you could do, but you don't have enough time. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go upstairs or you're gonna go downstairs. Yeah. yeah. And and you have a branching choice at that moment. That that all that's also really good as well because of replayability. So mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of replayability in that, which is really exciting. Yeah. We're hoping. We're hoping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's funny because that that matters a lot to some of us. Like our our lead designer uh, Brian Fermis in the game, he and I had worked at uh, Telltale Games before. Yeah, so you know it's like giving people meaningful choices, yeah. branches, and you know it's, that's always great. Yeah, and some, <laughs> sometimes making the wrong choice that leads uh, to consequences right. and stuff. I just want to say as well, thank you. Um, Because a a couple of months ago, we did the charity stream for St. Jude and you guys provided a lot of things and you donated as well. So massive thank you again. Uh, You guys are amazing. It really means a lot to me. Um, Thank you for doing it. Like, I mean, it's so great that that you're doing these regularly and getting so many people involved and, you know, you know, we've been watching you do it before we ever (laughs) got involved with you. you (laughs) It's fantastic. It really is. I'm going to go red now. I'm blushing. Uh, So you provided some interesting posters, okay? And it's got a lot of people excited and uh, questioning things. What's (laughs) what's the deal with the Fred Bear's Family Diner posters? It existed. Okay. At some point in history. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't you like to know more? I would like to know more. I would love to know one. <laughs> <laughs> Boss fights? Question mark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> and yeah, we've got um, you yeah. know, the 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 animatronics. You you will have some choices, and yeah. you can you can if you think that you've got what it takes, you can choose to take. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. But each one's unique, which is really cool. That yeah. was something that's like, Yeah, I'm really so excited. Multiple to see that. and each one totally different than the next. Yeah. yeah. We try, you know, we're doing everything we can to honor the series. Yeah. Right. And at times, you are in a room in an office, closing doors, mm-hmm. and you know. Yeah, I think I've, we we got that from the trailer. Roxy, whoever trying to get in. Yeah, and other yeah. times you're stuck as Gregory in a place mm-hmm. with one of those bots. Yeah, yeah. And there's nowhere to hide. Any plans in the future for multiplayer? Have you have you guys ever thought about that in the back of your minds at all? I mean, oh, okay. certainly thought about it. We've talked about it, um, but nothing nothing concrete right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but it certainly, I mean, as game developers and having made multiplayer games in the past, like we talk about it all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing about multiplayer and, you know, just kind of go back to one of the earlier things I said, like, that is an undertaking. That is a that is an undertaking. And again, we are an indie studio. We have yeah. an indie game, um, <laughs> building something that, um, to Jay's point, honors the series mm-hmm. uh, and and is a fun, fluid experience. Uh, that's complicated. So um, yeah. you know, we talk about it every once in a while. There's nothing, no no concrete plans. I'll throw one thing in there though, just for fun and because I love you and I think this will be a lot of fun. Is uh, when we were working on Help Wanted, we actually did a couch co-op multiplayer mode that never got right. finished. It, it never made it, yeah. but we were playing with it. Okay. Where you know, yeah. one person is one person is, you know, sitting in the middle of the room, and all the other player, and they've got the headset on, and all the other players are in controllers. But they've got the bots and they're trying to jump scare the player that's you know yeah, trying to protect yeah. themselves in the office. <laughs> and it was fantastic. Yeah, I remember talking about that ages ago because somebody <laughs> found it in the files or something. Oh, of course they did. Yeah. Um I think it was was it called Flashlight Freeze? Uh yeah, it probably was. Yeah. 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 Yep. I remember talking about that and everybody yeah. was like, oh my God, we might be getting multiplayer in the future. I mean, oh, yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> we even had a character select screen that was like 
it was kind of like gauntlet with like the four you know player strips yeah and it had like the it had the curtains so it was kind of like uh super mario 2. yeah <laughs> so, yeah it was pretty sweet it's awesome well there you yeah. go guys don't want to bring that one know. back here's an interesting one as well um are we able to just take a break from being chased chased uh, by creepy animatronics and just have fun and enjoy ourselves in the mall you know really when you find like these these mini games these arcades yeah yeah those do lock you into the game so you can okay. play the game comfortably and not worry about you um, know not worry about stuck time. Up on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah will we ever get dlc for security breach so that is something that we're talking about right now um, so we're, we're starting to make some plans. Um, it's nothing concrete yet, um, but we've got a lot of ideas. We're collaborating with Scott on it. Um, there's, uh, you know, Dreadbear in particular had such a positive response. Yes. To, oh, that was we, amazing. We would be silly not to keep yep. people more of, uh, more of security breach. So yeah, we're, we're laying down plans right now. Um, more information will start coming out probably next year. Awesome. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, in the meantime, you know, we're going to be, um, we're going to be, you know, patching the game. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to continue to do things like quality of life improvements and performance improvements and things like that. So um, there will be small patches here and there for things that, um, things that we want to change that we didn't get to, um, little things here and there. Um, so you'll see that stuff um, in the next few months, just upgrades, updates, mm -hmm. quality stuff. Um, and then DLC after that. Yeah, that's amazing. Because Dreadbear was so good, like, honestly. Yeah. I just want to say that to you guys right now. Dreadbear was so good. And I feel like that DLC allowed you guys to just like experiment and do mm -hmm. like do ideas and stuff without having to, you know, do the original FNAF games, if that makes sense. It led you to be mm -hmm. more creative. Yeah, the, the Pizza Plex is huge and there's no shortage of stories that we could tell. So here's an interesting one. We've got a cool one here. So uh, back in what last year, last year, you released Help Wanted for mobile devices. <laughs> and there was a very interesting mini game that was included called Princess Quest. Now, I remember at the time, there was a stone door that could never be opened. And a lot of people were thinking, oh, um, how, are we, how are we ever going to be able to open this? Is this going to come back in the future or anything? So, will we ever be able to open it? Uh, what do you think? Uh, so, Fazbear Entertainment, <laughs> this allows all knowledge of said Princess Quest or, or uh, rumors of sequels. Okay. That pretty much answers it then. From the trailers, uh, we've noticed that Freddy is very supportive with Gregory, um, helping him, guiding him. You know, you can go inside of his stomach and roam around the location without getting detected. Um, yeah. So why is Freddy a good guy? Wasn't Freddy always a good guy? <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. You know, it, there was there was a point we were talking with Scott and we were talking, I mean, it's a couple of years back about ideas for sequels and and we were and we were all we were all kind of saying, wouldn't it be nice if we had Freddy as a protagonist? Mm -hmm. You know, how cool would that be? Like, hey, what if what if there's a kid and it's protecting the kid? You know, yeah. like that's and we, we started to kind of, you know, we were talking about other things like, oh, you know, the, there's an old man that's helping you that's like a security guard. And, you know, it's, it's, and it all kind of morphed together at some point into this like, we want us, we want a game where Freddy is the good guy. Yeah. You know, all the bots are different. They all have different stories, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, why not? I think it's a great mechanic um, because in Sister Location, uh, the mm -hmm. animatronics there, if yeah. you went inside those stomachs, you die. You get murdered. <laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. nice to have a, an animatronic that has a stomach like this, where you're actually safe and not, yeah. you know, yeah. Not and dismembered. you know, actually, that, that's one thing I always loved is I, I loved uh, the interactions you have with Circus Baby. Yes. Yeah. You know, where it's like, can you trust her or not? Or you know, like she's a great character. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why I think she's one of the fan favorites. You know, yeah. it's like you know, awesome. there's a lot of depth there. Yeah, there is. There is. What are you like? But from when we did the charity stream again, you guys sent memes and stuff, which were amazing, by the way. Like breakdancing Freddy and 
uh, Roxanne and stuff. Ten out of ten. Um, so what what are your thoughts about the memes in the community? For example, have you guys heard of the Goongalar? <laughs> <laughs> me, you. Learned from you. <laughs> me, That's you so funny. Is like the most. In, it's a, it, you made it. If you <laughs> mean about something that you're working on, like you've absolutely made it. Like <clears throat> the, the problem though with the memes is we'll be in a meeting and somebody will pull up the Gungalar in the meeting and go, "Hey guys, look! But I look at the community's throwing around. Like, yeah, check this out." And the whole meeting gets off topic. And now, <laughs> and, now, and then we end up spending a half an hour talking about whether or not we can put the Google art in the game. <laughs> and finally, it's got to be like, hey, it's probably, probably not. Probably, probably have to pass on that one. Uh, <laughs> Maybe let's do a whole DLC about it. Whole DLC yeah, about the Google art. The, 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 cur the curse yeah. of Google art should do something yes. like that. <laughs> How would you compare the game now? versus the game in its original scope and how how uh, yeah you're already smirking how big has it changed yeah 10x yeah yeah 10x. 10 times as big oh it's just yeah. it, it's incredible i mean even from when i joined to what's coming out like what like wildly different game yeah. uh it just it, it has come so far in even the short time that i've been here and mm. it it did it, it, it's just impressive yeah how how quickly and how well this small team uh, was able to pull together uh, probably my favorite game i've ever made so yeah uh, yeah it's uh it, it and he it, worked it, on mortal kombat <laughs> so you, you confirm his security breach is better than mortal kombat i think i think it's <laughs> merged into one <laughs> That would, uh, that, would be my, that would be my favorite game ever. Oh, here's, here's one that a lot of people have been asking. So, do you guys have a price of how much it's going to be and the age rating? Yeah. Uh -oh. uh, so, the game's going to be $39.99. Nice. Uh, and and uh, we expect the ESRB rating to be 18. Awesome. Will Glitch Trap make a return? The figure's right there. <laughs> me. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you don't have to answer any of this, right? But I'm going to give you a theory. I'm going to give you a theory right now. I think Glitch Trap will return. I think it's pretty obvious that he will return. Okay. Um, somebody found out, you sneaky, sneaky people, in the, uh, the Security Breach cartoons, somebody combined, um, like, the, the glitches... And it made glitch trap. That's very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I mean, like, again, you, you don't have to, you don't have to say or not. But I think, uh, I think most people kind of know that it's going to happen because, like, the, the end of Dreadbear as well and stuff like that. Like, um, well, so that was in the cartoon. Uh, yeah, the the cartoon huh. that was like, um, have you guys, have you, do you know what I'm talking about or not? Are you teasing? Huh. What's really cool about the cartoons, uh, actually, is that if you've been paying close attention to them, you're already playing Security Breach. Okay. Will Showtime ever return for Security Breach or future games? So, you know, there could be some sort of Showtime, but not as what you expect. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I was very, very happy with the that original song that, that people found. Oh no, it's oh no. Alan, Alan Simpson, who's uh, who's done music for this game as well, uh, did that did that one. Yeah, he actually, he, last name Simpsons, and he did do some songs on The Simpsons, which is funny. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's an improv musician that does like on stage improv shows, yeah. you know, like, hey, do something in the style of, and everybody's singing and he just like, he's magic. He's just amazing. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, we had a lot of fun developing that song with him. How fun has it been making FNAF games? Oh, it's been a blast. Oh yeah, yeah. it's yeah. so much fun. It's yeah. like, especially as like a newcomer uh, to, to the franchise, like the number of times where I have to stop and I have to ask someone like, hey, if we do this, doesn't it affect all of these other little pieces yeah, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, so then, I, then I have to hear a dissertation on um, <laughs> yeah. the history of... Uh, the history of FNAF. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't have that pattern on the sock. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hold on. Yeah. The and then honestly, like, just the community. I like, 
you know, I, I've, I've, I've seen really, I've worked in really passionate communities before, but nothing, nothing even close <laughs> to the FNAF community. Like yeah. I, just everything about the folks that I, that I see online, just yeah. like, of the franchise. They love these characters. They've grown up with them. They care about them. Yeah. And that like, that is an inspiring thing because that means that if we don't care about them, we're not doing everybody who loves these games a service. <laughs> and that's like yeah. our job. Like, the job is not to produce games. JTOP's job is not to be the creative director of a game. Our job is to build something that people yeah. will love. That is our job. Yeah. And it's, um, the whole team feels that way. We all, we all, we all approach the job that way. And yeah. so, um, yeah, it's a, it, it, it's an honor. And honestly, I'm hoping that hoping everybody loves the game as much as we do. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. It's a, it's amazing that the artwork that you see. Yeah. You know, the videos you see people make yeah you're like oh my dear lord <laughs> like we but i mean <laughs> when i stop playing the game at night and i try to go to bed you know i'm like <laughs> i'll be looking at my phone going through reddit yeah and just seeing like all the amazing stuff everyone's doing or or just people's ideas and i i don't know these days i mean when i was little everybody knew the same shows because you yeah. know you had five channels on TV, you know a, a movie would be in the theater for a year. You'd see it multiple times. Everybody knew the same same references always. But in like the last ten years or so, it's gotten harder and harder and harder because you can go online and you can find one weird little niche thing. And if you're into it, you can just find like all I want to ever listen to is um, synthwave eighties style. Yeah, yeah. You can find like YouTube videos for like years that are yeah. just that. And so to have people that are coming together and and have been talking about this one, you know, this one IP and they, they love it so much. And that's just great. I mean, I have a kid like my daughter is eight. She's been, you know, a huge fan since she was like four. Yeah. You know, I was when I go and take her to school and whatnot and look at the backpacks of the kids. It's like Freddy's, 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 Freddy's. <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's like. I, it's amazing. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. It's so nice. I worked at Pixar for 14 years, and I worked on tons and tons of stuff that my daughter doesn't give a crap about. I love Pixar. When, <laughs> right. When, but, when but I it's found like... out you worked at Pixar, I fangirled, man. I fangirled hard. Oh, that's, oh, we'll talk sometime. We'll have to talk. <laughs> but, like, but, but like, my daughter's like, oh, yeah, I saw that. That's great. Yeah. Oh, oh, Freddy's. No. What are you guys doing for Freddy's? What are you doing for Freddy's? <laughs> right? It's like that's the one. <laughs> because we we were talking about the era, like you were the '80s era and stuff. Uh -huh. I was like, well, early 2000s and stuff. So like Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, yeah. and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. it's kind. Of, it's really weird that I'm talking to somebody who worked <laughs> on those things like i watched as a kid all the time like i love the incredibles uh, I, I had a dash costu costume oh that's awesome. I got my, oh that's awesome i've got my uh, incredibles tattoo oh nice there it is <laughs> <laughs> i got that at the animation rap party oh that's awesome yeah will there be any easter eggs in security breach it, it, it's funny we have um so we've got you know, because of the deep lore and because of the history, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we were we were able to do that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you want to you want to talk about some of the stuff that we got? Jay Top, you want me to? Oh, you go for it. So the um, so as we're as you know as we're building the game, uh, you know, I get an email from Scott. And he says, "Hey, put this stuff in the game," and I I I, I look at it all. I I. I I examine it as a producer would do, and I say, I have no idea what any of this means. And he goes, yeah, put it in. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I know. <laughs> uh, cool, you got it. Uh, and so like on top of the uh, on top of the fun things that we did, we've got a bunch of stuff. Um, it's all really, <laughs> it's really, really interesting stuff. Um, and so, yeah, there's there's no shortage of things to discover in the pizza place. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I say, one thing that that you've already called out like in videos you know so far is noticing the uh, arcade skins in the background yes. yeah <laughs> there are a lot there's a lot <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. yeah yeah the and the majority of them came from sky mm -hmm. and, his, okay. and his, he's got a team of artists right and so they did all sorts of great easter egg stuff like it's fantastic yeah. And then there's a bunch of like when we were going, well, we have to do a whole bunch of skins. 
hey, everybody in the studio, just come up with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we made like, we made ridiculous, ridiculous arcades. <laughs> There's some silly, silly ones. So everything you guys have been saying about Easter eggs and stuff, like this game is going to be big. Um, do you, so let's say if I was doing a Let's Play, mm -hmm. how long is it going to take me to be, like do everything? <laughs> everything. Well, man, I was trying. So last night, I was trying to do a, like a comprehensive playthrough mm -hmm. where I got every single collectible, and I started at nine, and it was like one thirty in the morning, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> you know, I, I I, I was still like I was not even near the end, and I was like, man, I haven't, I just haven't found everything yet. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember where I put some stuff, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's be beating everything. Saying how long it takes to beat everything in the game is a complicated question. Yeah, because yeah. Because there's a lot of variables. Like, yeah, for for the completionists, it's gonna take a long time. Like it's gonna yeah. take a long time, not just because of the size of the pizza books, but also because like it's a FNAF game. Like yeah. mm -hmm. it's a challenging point where it's yeah. like you wanna you really wanna go for it? Oh damn. This is gonna be yeah. some hard hard moments while playing. Yeah. Am I gonna am I gonna rage? Oh yeah. No, no, please. <laughs> I mean I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, like, is it gonna be as hard as the freaking uh, ba uh, baby plushies in our wanted. No, it is not that hard. There's no plush babies. Okay. Oh. The thing is with plush babies now, I can do it first try now. But at the yeah. start, it was freaking like really difficult. Out of all of the models that you have made in Security mm -hmm. Breach, which one would you say is your favorite if you could pick? I mean, I think DJ Music Man is like the most impressive yeah. model in the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. You know? Like I love, I love daycare attendant is that's my favorite. But man, yeah, DJ Music Man. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the final questions, um, but I'll I'll ask one more about the game itself. Um, yep. um, is the game going to have subtitles when it releases? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Straightforward. Nice. Yep. Awesome. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you guys to get this game into the hands of the fans? And excited, uh, like 11 and a half terrified. Oh no, don't be nervous. <laughs> well, I mean, you're launching a big game, it's always nerve wracking. Yeah, it's going to be nerve wracking. It's never not been nerve wracking. Yeah. Uh, and it's, you know, I, I again, I am so excited to get it in everyone's hands because I think everyone's really going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's like, I've always had this sickness, for, you know, from working in film, for working yeah. at Telltale, for working. Is just like sitting there and doing reload, 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 and just see comments, see yeah. reviews, you know. Say, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the art in Security Breach is amazing. So, mm -hmm. every, oh, oh my God, the, the the Steam poster that that was shown, like the cover, is, is insane. Um, yeah. Got like cut scenes um, from the trailer and the art and the posters and the the promotional art, the cartoons, everything. The art has been insane. Um, yes. So people have asked in the future ever, do you think you guys will ever release like um, like a behind the scenes, like Security Breach art book or anything like that? Um, we've not talked about an art book, but one thing we have talked about is actually doing kind of like some dev diaries. So awesome. um, basically having, you know, having uh, videos drop online with our, like our game design director and the lead of, our sets team and one of our art directors and um, just getting all those folks uh, out in front of everyone so they can talk a little bit about you know how we were all able to you know bring their vision of what that world yeah. should look like to life so yeah. we're, we're talking about doing that right now actually awesome so. you guys have freaking really pushed for naf like you know um the uh, the audience with this game like it, i remember seeing on the playstation youtube channel how many people watch those trailers and how many people outside of fnaf like came back to it after like years and been like you know what like this is looking like the biggest fnaf game ever i am interested in playing it now um and it, you know for it's coming out on consoles as well and stuff so i just want to say again a massive thank you 
for all the hard work that you're doing, like uh, with Scott as well. A massive thank you to Scott um, for getting you guys involved with the game and being like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to take a step back and let a, a, a studio uh, make their own game. Um, I feel like that was definitely the right, definitely the right decision. Uh, so thank you, Scott, and thank you, you guys. Yeah. Honestly, um, it, I feel like it's took FNAF to a, a new level. Um, it it really has, and it, you know, um, I, 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 I like if I don't know where FNAF would be right now without you guys. Honestly, um, you've done a really good job with Help Wanted as well. I still think Help Wanted to me is like one of my favourite ever. Yeah, thank you for keeping going with FNAF and. It's like I was thinking about it the other week um, in bed. I was just like, I don't know when is FNAF gonna end. Like, wh when is it gonna end? It's gonna be here forever. <laughs> right after, right after Star Wars does. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hitting so many people. It's had such yeah. a huge start, and look, and the you know, <laughs> it's just picking up more fans. It's yeah, just exactly. More people on board. You know, yeah. it's so nice. And it's like 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 totally spot on an enormous thank you to scott like that yeah. like collaborating with him has been an incredible experience from my perspective um like it just super super into our ideas um gives us amazing ideas to run with like mm -hmm. really helps put fuel in the tank um it's been it's been a really good working experience honestly oh that's and, good and, and then at the end of the day like this like Thank you so much for the kind words, but thank yeah. you and thanks, thanks to all yeah. the fans. Because if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be able to do the thing that we love to do more than anything else. Like you get into this industry because you have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. you, get, you do this job because you've got a Steam library of 200 games and you've only made, you know, three quarters of the way through it. Yeah. And <laughs> it's your, it's your passion. It's what you love. And so being able to, to give that feeling that we all feel every day with the things we love, being able to give that to the community is uh, immensely rewarding. So we're going to wrap it up guys. And I'm going to give you guys one more question. So Shoot. The, the final thoughts of Security Breach. Almost a week to go. Do you have any final hints or anything you can say about Security Breach that will get people excited? Even just one word, like a code or anything. Schematics. Mm. Okay, so pizza flavor. <laughs> <laughs> to be a bit of a difference there. Pizza flavored cotton candy and schematics. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, f thank you guys so much for today's interview. You guys have been awesome. I feel like a lot of people will be incredibly grateful for the answers that you give, that you've gave uh, for some of the questions. Um, and people are going to be so, so excited to watch it and get excited and ready for the release next week. I, I still can't believe it. Like, uh, like, it's been waiting for so long. Like, I, I know, I can, I know how nervous you guys are, but I promise you, like, a lot of people like are really, really excited for this and. Um, we're ready. We're ready to take on Vanny and get 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 to the secrets and stuff. So again, a massive thank you for all of the work you've done, all of the passion you've put into the project. And I, I, honestly, I'm just so excited and I'm looking forward to the future with you guys as well. Uh, I really am. You guys are so talented. You've got an amazing art team. You guys are amazing. Andrew as well. Uh, Kai, who of oh, uh, Andrew. Uh, uh, Andrew and Kai have met as Andrew. Hi, <laughs> Hi Andrew, if you're watching. But yeah, um, super awesome team. I don't mean that. They're my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully in the future as well, uh, we guys actually get to um, to meet in person. That would be so cool yeah. to do like to do like an interview in person great. or something. Let's, um, let's meet at Disneyland and do. Yeah, <laughs> let's go on the Incredicoaster together. Yes, yes. And let's <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, the next video is there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys, and thank you everybody for watching as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, a massive shout out to Steel, all the whole team, Scott, J Top, and Ray for joining me. You guys thank are amazing. You. I appreciate it. 
And Thanks, so Dr. yeah, and I can't wait to watch your reaction videos. Oh my Dude. god! <laughs> like I'm everybody gonna... at work watches them. So you know. <laughs> I am gonna. If there's any like yeah. plot twists or any cool reveals <laughs> that Scott has done in the past, you will get a big scream from me. Like honestly, yes. uh, I'm so excited for it. I'm. But I'm, I'm all. Do you know what? I said. I said this to my friends as well privately. I'm really excited for it. But I'm also really intimidated by it, and because the ga yeah, because the game is so big, I'm actually mm. nervous. I'm nervous to go around. I'm intimidated by it. You should do like it, you should get a bunch of string and pictures and do a big board yeah, behind yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, while I'm playing through. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, like same thoughts about like uh, when I flew to America as well. I had the same thoughts. Like I love America. I'm also intimidated, like intimidated by it because of how big it is. Um, oh. It's coming from a small country. It's yeah, it's it, it's pretty big. It's pretty yeah. big. So we'll compare we'll compare like FNAF one to the UK and Security Breach to America. <laughs> that, that's how I feel right now. But yeah, honestly, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank um, you. And yeah, uh, Security Breach comes out the 16th of December for 39.99. You've got a price. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, really excited. So PlayStation Store and Steam, right? Yep. 16th yep. of December. PS4, PS5, PC. P PS4, PS5, PC. Yeah. Uh, 16th of December. Yeah. And I'll be I'll be on it straight away. I I will be there waiting. Like as soon as it releases, I'm I'm gonna be ready for it. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Thank thanks, you. guys. Thank thanks, you. Everyone. Thanks for watching, <laughs> yeah. everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>